Good Monday morning to you. Right, welcome to Easy Line. Last class of the day today, fourth class in. Feeling just a little bit stiff from the previous classes, so it could be fun. I will modify all the moves for you. We have some swirly snow to go with the outdoor ambience. Please make sure you are fit and well trained. You have clearance from your GP and you are aware that exercise can cause injury. Right. What do we got? Who we got? Who we got? Anita, Colin, Lynn. Morning. Betty. We got PPL music free play. Um, good afternoon. Get in. It is afternoon already. Well done. Um, how's it, Leslie? So, yeah, how's them shoulders feeling? Ugh. Right, let's just keep going. The sooner we finish, no, the sooner we start, the sooner we finish. Uh, I think I'm going to go and have a snowball fight after this. Uh, if you're doing this live, that's cool. If you're doing it on catch up, it might not be snowing. And if you're doing it on the leisure portal, Eminence Leisure Portal, it might be a whole week later and there may be sunshine. So, Wherever you are, enjoy. Let's get going. Roll the shoulders. So my writing on my form today is really tiny, I can't see it. Ugh. So I'm having to scratch down. Holy moly. Well, thank you. They're my snowflakes, each one of them. Open the hip. Ooh. You could be jogging if you want. I literally have come to a standstill, to a grinding halt. I can't move. <laughs> I see handstands and wall walk ups this morning. That one was nine. And uh, everything ceased. 10 seconds. You'll notice the regulars are not here. They've been doing my morning classes too. Not, not all the regulars rest. Um, Great, lunges, take it back. Feet shoulder width apart, lunge, and tap in. If you have weights, pop your weights in your hand and frame the knee. Ha, bum. If you want to jump it, you can jump it. It's your workout, you go at your level. Woo, can't believe it's Monday again. First of February, new month, pinch and a punch, the first of the month. So, do you guys say that here? You just go up and punch someone, pinch them first. <laughs> Might be just South Africans. Rest. Right, sumo squats, knees out, toes out. Chest lifted, bum back. You ready? Go. So sit down, drive the hips in. Pull the hips all the way back. Breathe out at the top. Again, you can come right up on the toes if you want to add into it, or you could add a jump at the top. My back's a little creaky today, so I'm not doing any jumping. I think this easy line was inspired by the bar classes I was doing last lockdown. Let's get back into them. Maybe we'll do one next Monday. It's like a, just a nice cool float class. Okay. Jumping jacks. So I am not jumping, I'm just going to tap. You can jump. You can jump both feet. Or you could do death stars if you want. Or you down and jump. Go. So keep the chest lifted. You see from the side. Nice light feet. Feel this in the shoulders. Maybe I'm just feeling my shoulders from being, <laughs> being on them. Whew. 
Holy moly. Check it out. Right, rear leg lift. So if you need something to hold on to, you can hold on to the wall. Balance. We're going to do one leg for a minute. Soft knee, and you're just going to lift. Lift. So if you want to hold on to the wall, I don't know if you can still see me here. Lift. You're squeezing the glutes. You can face the front and just lift this way if you want. Or you can lift up to the side. Doesn't matter. Just keep lifting. Find your balance. I've turned mine slightly. I've still got a nice flat back. And I'm really feeling that in the glutes. Nice soft standing knee. Abs are engaged so you don't take your back out. Five seconds. Switch sides. So you've got 10 seconds recovery. Gonna find my balance. Find your inner chair. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> so core is on. You can challenge yourself by not touching this foot down at all for the entire minute if you want. Make sure, can you see the back? And I've got that little arch, so you don't want to be rounded. Stick your butt out and lift. I'm counterbalancing the lift with my other arm coming out to the side. You could hold your arms out, or you, again, you can hold on to a piece of furniture. Yeah? Keep going. How's it rub? Squeeze the glutes as you lift. If you think you're going to fall over, Put the foot down. Rest. It sounds simple, but sometimes your brain just stops thinking when you're in the middle of things. Right, we're going into alternating front kicks. So feet shoulder width apart, so you've got a nice balance, and you're going to alternate and kick. So you can kick to shin height, or you can kick to hip height, or you can come right up to head height. I would advise strongly not going up that high, unless you're used to doing it. Okay. So we are using the lower abdominals to lift the leg. The legs are quite heavy. Make sure you, can, you don't want to flick the knee. Control the kick. Up in, up in, up in. If you want to add more, lean into it and crunch the obliques into the kick. into the spine. <coughs> and rest. Right, we are going into a sumo to tree. So we'll just keep on one side. Again, if you need to hold on to a piece of furniture, you can. You're going to sit into the sumo squat and you're going to push up onto one side and balance. Sumo. So you can use hands here. Your tree pose, you can just touch to the floor here. That's a modern modified option. Inside knee, or I can't get it even higher up. Okay, push the knee out. So squeeze. If that's what you're doing, that's fine. That's modified. I can hit the knee. I'm feeling this in my butt cheek on this side. Possibly because it's still recovering. But you're doing a lot of work on this one leg. Sit deep in the sumo squat. Right, push ups. You can do them against the wall if you want. Nice wide hands, pushing. Keep your body on a straight line. Alternatively, come down to the floor. Go. Elbows wide, shoulder down to elbow level. And push up. Breathe in, breathe out. You can be knees, toes, you can come all the way to the floor. And push. What I don't want to see is that. Okay? Get your hips forward. Lift the feet if you need to. Feel it in the chest. When you're pushing up, you should feel it in your shoulders and in your chest muscles. Your core is on. Feel it in the abs. Breathe out. Push yourself up explosively off the floor. 
Nice wide hands, elbows come back, 45 degrees, turn off chest. Come up, we're going into a squat and a jab. So, you're going to sit down, five up, jab, jab, squat. If you don't want to do a full squat, you can do a duck, like you're doing boxing. So you would duck, jab, jab, duck, jab, jab. Hips come back in this, keep your knees behind your toes. If it's too much coordination, literally a squat, opposite shoulder. If you want to hold the squat, you can stay low and you can just alternate the jab here. Hips are back. Sun has come up. Rest. Step ups. So, feet wide. Step forward, lift the knee. Step back, step back. Step forward, lift the knee. Imagine you're stepping up. Go. Chest lifted, keep your feet nice and wide so you don't trip over them. If you have got a step, use the step. That's what you're mimicking without a step. <clears throat> 10 seconds. So from standing, cross out the arms, drop into a squat, hands pointing out. Okay, go. Your modified option without the jump is to step in, squat. Look at my back from the side. Chest is lifted. You don't have to eat it if you want to, just push off the legs. Okay, you don't have to get low. You don't have to reach the floor. It's your workout. You go as slow or as fast as you want with correct form. Chest up, bum back. Push yourself a little bit wider. And rest. Clockwork pulses. We're going to alternate the leg. So you're going to pulse for two, to the side for two, tip forward slightly, to the back and switch. Go. Pulse. 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 Abs are on. Find your balance. So you're feeling quads, glutes, hamstrings. Keep going. Woo. Trying to touch the foot down, and that was not too. Pulse, flex the foot. Abs on, watch your back. Feel that in my butt again. Oops, back. Do what you want with your hands. While they're going on my hips now, rest. Lateral jab with rotation. So you're going to add lateral, that's a sideways move, rotate, jab, little hop, rotate, jab, go. You ready? Keep going. Again, this is as fast or as slow as you want to make it. Pivot the foot. If you don't pivot the foot and lift the heel, you will twist your knee. You might not have time to move or place to move. 
And you just do a little rotation without moving. I'm sure you've all got a place you can swing a cat and rest. Right, arm circles. This one's a killer, especially when you go to sore shoulders. Okay, sumo squat. Ready? Hands out, push the walls. Little circles. So what you want to avoid is this. Alright, lift it up. You can add the pulse if you want. You can come all the way to the front like so. You can cross over. You can come up and down. And take it out again. Circle. Ooh. Hit your squat. Change direction of the arms if you want. Bring them to the front. Mm -hmm. Oh, my shoulders. Sure. Keep it here. Make them bigger. Ah, brace. Right, so the run. Last move in the round. Feet on opposite corners of the square, and you can either jump in and run here, or push back with the steering wheel, push forward. Go. That's my option because my back is stiff now, so I'm not jumping. I'm adding a little hop. Mm, that's okay. You choose. Like I said, this workout is your workout. I'm giving you the easiest options today and I'm sticking to the easiest options. Doesn't mean you have to. Push yourself. This might be your only workout of the day. In that case, I want you giving it 100%. I'm still feeling my shoulders. And rest. I know you need to get the shoulders. Okay. Right, have some water. The arcs are halfway through. Are you ready? One more round. Yes, go do. See, I'm like, what's the chick called from Frozen? When she has all the snowflakes? Hmm. It looks better than my wrinkles. There we go. What's her name? I don't know. Great, let's go. Jog it out. So this could be your jog. You could be high knees. You could be heels to bum. You could be sprinting. I don't mind what you do as long as you're not standing like this. That might be it. Here, if you're doing this, you're pulling the hips back. Your legs will only go as fast as your arms. So if your arms are here, that's your legs. Pick it up. Abs, 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 abs. Shoulders, shoulders. Brace. Alternating lunges. If you want to take it to climbing lunges, you can jump in. So that is here if you want. Okay, I am not jumping. Go. I do want you bending your back knee though. If you don't bend your back knee, you end up hitting the hip flexor. We want to work the quad, so bend the knee. Yeah? Keep your feet shoulder width apart. No tight ropes. Railway tracks is what we're looking for. Keep your chest lifted. Your back muscles are all working. Your quad, your glutes, your hamstrings. If you want to do all these exercises weighted, it would just increase the cardio element of the workout. Make you sweat a little bit more. That's okay. You can just hold the weight here or you can have two weights in your hand. Great. Sumo squats coming up. Knees out, toes out, working the adductors on the squat as well. You ready? If you were doing it weighted, you would hold the weight here at the chest, or you could hold it here and go down with it. Breathe. Squeeze the abs on. Ah, 
Yes, Andrew. Definitely working off brown meat and beer. It's fourth class today, so I'm a little bit done. You can join the classes too if you like. This is for over 50s after all, and you are 50. Rest. Right, jumping jacks. So I'm not jumping because my back's a little tender. No excuse for you. Are you ready? Go. Jack. Remember your options. You can double, or you can jump up, or you can tap. You can do one of each. So you can tap, tap, jack, jump. <sighs> Lift the elbows in this. Work your back muscles, work your core. How's it, Anne? Are you back for lunch?
Fist lifted. Push up, stand to the floor. Elbows wide. Knees or toes. I think I'm going to up for knees. I'm done now. Go. Chin off chest. Yes. Lift your toes if you need to. From your heels. Keep your legs nice and wide. Nice space of balance. Abs pulled into the spine. And jab. I'm going to sit in the squat. A little bit squat. A little bit. A little bit. You ready? And just punch it out. Get the abs on. Go. Feeling a little oblique work here or a little twist work. Alright, same thing. Go. Pull the elbow back. Chest is lifted, bum is back. Abs, abs, abs. Watch your back. Okay, right, step ups. You know these ones? Go. Step left, step back, back, and up. Again, if you've got weights, you could be pushing them up above your head. You could be lifting a light weight up with the hands if you've got wrist weights on. You're going to do bicep curls. All depends what kind of weights you've got. You could just do no weights. Use your abs. Come on, finish strong. We're pretty much. to go. Rest. Okay, so now you're doing power squats. Here, maybe you can jump out and in or walk it. Go. Chest is lifted, bum is back. How's it, David? You and Shelly can do these on YouTube on catch up. Make sure the hips are coming back and your knees are behind your toes. Hello, beautiful. Have you come to save mummy? Yes, I love you. Come see you. She comes to me. My lunch is ready. Homemade lentil soup. Doesn't look as nice as it sounds. Hi, right, Chris. Oh, yes, yeah. We take a finish. Right, clockwork pulses. Ow. You ready? Mm, watch your cat. Pulse. Pulse. And behind. And switch. So again, if you need, use a chair or a wall or a person or a cat <laughs> to lean on. Working quads, glutes, hamstrings. That's your quad. That's your glute. That's your hamstring. I know, I know. She's like, you've done enough today, Mum. We just could finish. We could finish, Mimi. Eight seconds. Hello. Right, so 
we're going into the lateral jab with rotation. Try not to get on the cat's feet. You ready? Rotate. So I'm not jumping fast, I'm still got a little jump in. I'm just weary of my back. So I'm not jumping fast. You could do it without and just step tap. She's hanging for cuddles. In sumo squat. Oh, you ready? Feet nice and wide, knees out, toes out, hands up, push the palms, push the walls away, do circles. So keep the chest lifted, sit as low in the squat as you can, and bring the arms forward. Keep them at shoulder height. You can cross over, you can come up and down, back up to shoulder height, and circle back. Keep that chest lifted. Come back again. And back out. Oh, Misty Kit, this one's love. Hold it here, big circles. Oh, wow. That's a killer. Right, last move, scissor runs. Oh, he's made my knees, last move. Go, push back. So remember you can run if you want. Speak your floor, let's go back a little bit. Like quite literally. Fifteen seconds. That was interesting. Yes, the snowflakes are quite pretty. They hide my wrinkles, you see. I think it beautifies me. So, even though I was working at the bare uh, entry level point on that, I'm still sweating. So, really good. Well done, gang. Well done for tuning in. <laughs> she just wants cuddles now. Right, just quickly rotate through. Oh, put at the foot. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale down. And again, breathe in. And down. Last one. Bring it into a side lunge and hold it. Bum back. Knee bent. Nice straight leg. Hey turn it into hip flexor stretch. So turn and drop down. Straight leg stretch. Pull the belly in. Come up. Side lunge. Then turn it. Drop down. Hello. Straight leg straight. Abs on. Round and release to the front, hips back, head up, bum up, breathe in, exhale and ground. And again. Last one. All the way up. Roll the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale down. And up. 
Exhale. Last one. Good. Well done. Holy moly. So, nice one. Well done, gang. Have a lovely Monday. And I shall see you on Wednesday. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.